we've been talking about personal finance investing making sure you're anti-fragile your community is anti-fragile your society is anti-fragile right basically resilient and making sure everyone can be as independent as possible right now one thing that has happened in our city the city has i think starting last year or the year before i can't remember when it was okay they started setting up uh times where they were giving away cuttings seedlings to the community right so you would go there they would have like a two-hour session three-hour session and usually so a couple of places i went to they had like a six-hour window where you could pick up seedlings the first three hours was for senior citizens immune compromised people and people who are more uh, fragile in our community right so the first three hours was for them and then the next three hours was for everyone else right so i went into the second hours and we picked up seedlings right that they were giving away for free for people to grow their own food okay which is fantastic one way any community can become more anti-fragile and more independent and less dependent on centralized uh industrial food chain really military industrial food chain like the 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 huge conglomerates right very very important like we had last summer we had so much lettuce and tomatoes and cannabis grew four cannabis plant that were around in canada ended up getting like 11 ounces of cannabis which is a fair bit of money right so it made us more independent okay uh elder god wells we are on movies please never watch breach with bruce willis i am saying saving your life <laughs> i stopped watching bruce willis movies <laughs> how's your help doing good brother thank you very much bit monkey hope you're doing well also and thank you for for asking let me show you what we got in terms of uh seedlings uh ding bobber such a good idea my cousin boyfriend has started a pepper seed business he already has 100 different varieties available it's the second year he's doing this and already has over 100 awesome 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 check this out ended up getting oh my God. one two three four five six and we're gonna go more next next i think two weeks three weeks lettuce right so we got six of these batches okay so we're gonna plant these we're probably gonna split them up as well right so split them up and plant them so we have a bed of lettuce going because we ended up eating a lot of lettuce yeah the fifth element bruce willis was fantastic in my opinion is when bruce willis had that perfect amount of balding and crispy hair on top yeah. and still had a little bit of sex appeal but on the gross side dirty side right romaine i is is this romaine i think this is romaine lettuce yeah i don't know if this is romaine i want to get last year they gave us butter lettuce butter lettuce was phenomenal butter lettuce is like thin crispy not crispy thin leathery leather lettuce it was butter lettuce is so good so good china has recently been sending some uh treated seeds to aliexpress customers with some bad rated yeah i w i personally i'm not buying any veggies and fruits and stuff from uh basically only buying organic or local as much as possible right except for bananas and avocados right and oranges i guess Ooh, butter lettuce yes my dad would grow that butter lettuce gang amazing you can't buy butter lettuce in the grocery store i've never seen it because i think it's too fragile but you, when you grow it it's amazing growing my own veggies is certainly a goal of mine seems very rewarding extremely rewarding matt extremely rewarding yeah cheryl butter lettuce yeah, you must grow yeah here check this out this is uh mustard so we're gonna grow some mustard okay fantastic 
Really nice. So we got two of these things for mustard. What else we got? We got this. This is really good. You can actually eat eat the flowers as well. Nasturtium. Nasturtium. Get growing. Get growing. Oh, get growing, Victoria. Nasturtium. So this is, and it gives uh, flowers, and you can eat the flowers. Super good. Super good. Right. Very delicious. Okay. Moringo, Moringo. I don't know what Moringo is. Check this out. We picked up uh, three of these these guys, which is cucumbers. So we're gonna grow cucumbers. What kind of cucumber? Uh, cucumber market more 76 i have no idea what that is moringa you can find it uh, at farmers markets usually if anyone is interested oh the butter lettuce i've never seen oh that's a good idea i've never seen it around for our farmers markets we got two different types of tomatoes We got two different types of tomatoes. I mean, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these ones and one, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven of these ones. So we got eight. Well, this is nasturtium. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. So we got seven of each, not eight. So seven of each. Got seven uh, early girl tomatoes. seven early 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 girl okay and we got seven sweet uh, million right very nice so we should have lots of tomatoes cherry tomatoes are easy we got zucchini as well watercress i've had as well thing bobber super delicious what is the easiest vegetable to grow, uh, to start growing if you've uh, never grown? Tomatoes are really easy. Tomatoes are ridiculously easy. Which garden do you go to on the island to buy plants? I live in uh, Kauchan Bay, so always ended up in uh, one. Uh, these ones we got, uh, Victoria is giving them away. They've set up places where you can just go. They give away these seedlings. So that's what I ended up doing. We just went to the seedlings, but Dan's. Uh, uh, we go to Dan's uh, uh, farm market. It's like a local. Um, in the summer, late spring, summer, we go there. It's like a local farm where we get a fair bit of stuff. This one. We gotta get more of these guys. Take a look. Uh, marigold marigold is good for fighting off um, bugs okay so marigold we gotta get more of those we got chives 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 is amazing right chives night so we'll call like how are you doing chicho it would be funny if you dressed in a mount uniform for a stream one day oh, i can't do it brother i can't do it i don't know what this is we picked this up but i don't know what it is they didn't have labels on these ones i forget what this is So we're gonna plant these. Oh, that might be a pepper plant. 
And we do have basil as well. Basil is over here. I got. Where's my basil? Here's my basil. This is basil. That one I think could be a pepper plant. Good call. Good call. This is basil. Basil Genovis, Gino right? Or Chicho, the centralized version. <laughs> oh, basil looks so. Basil is amazing. We gotta get a couple more of these. We use up a lot of basil. These ones I don't know either. What these ones are either any idea again I don't know what these ones are so this one might be pepper I think you're right it might be pepper thank you for that uh, uh, street name lemon we got four zucchinis, Black Beauty. We got four of these guys, Black Beauty zucchini. The other one, that's hey, let's find out how we're doing. I don't know if the other one's uh, lettuce. Oh, it might be. Uh, what's it called? So we got four of these ones. It, it might be. Oh. Uh, greens like edible greens not lettuce but uh, oh man I forget what it is the... like like arugula type of lettuce these ones good call let's find out nice book chicho all free yeah all free all free and the last four things that we're going to grow uh, and we grew these from seed let me bring them over and show them to you and we got four of these guys anybody know what these are i anybody know what these are <laughs> what are these things arugula yeah i think so the other ones are arugula we got four of these babies that we grew from seed <laughs> i think a cannabis a cannabis 420 420 more broccoli or cauliflower the other one was a cauliflower maybe you know you can uh where we go so we got four of these guys we're gonna plant And we already have uh, we already have a bunch of uh, uh, what do you call it like mint already planted uh, uh, black currant raspberry gooseberries um, chives uh, chives is chives maybe some chives going on here already uh, and, a, and a bunch of other things we already got planted right kind of a sativa <laughs> Heck yeah. you gotta grow in Canada we can grow for rock and roll right apologies about missing some of the chat gang <laughs> the real MC Mike they're, they're potted plants <laughs> any clones you want to hand, hand out no clones yet we don't have any clones and we have to figure out if these are going to be female or not we want female right and you won't know if they're female until they start flowering and you see the uh, the hair on the flowers once you see the hair on the flowers then you know it's female if you get flowers and you don't see the hair uh, coming then it's male so male is for pollinating uh, generating seeds we don't want that we want the bud right I'll take a clone if we have extra it's yours <laughs> Buckeye tree, Cheryl says. 
you have lemongrass a uh, lemongrass uh, no we haven't planted lemongrass did we have lemongrass last year no that's a good idea though lemongrass is really good thyme no we got uh, um, what do you call it uh, <laughs> I cook with rosemary we have rosemary we have mint and we will plant um, greens uh, herbs as well we just haven't got around to do them doing the herbs we're gonna fix things up we have a like a bed there and a bed here and we've got lots of pots lots of soil compost in buck buckets right now so we're gonna do some planting today and this week anyway and sort of arrange things and then have a bed where we're growing chives and herbs and um, and lemongrass thyme lavender lavender we have lots all around the neighborhood so we can pick that up stuff easy peasy all right ding bobber my friend just gave me some of his homegrown northern lights it's bomb stuff nice 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 mr banana monkey you're inspiring me to want to start a garden now good good that is <laughs> That is one of my intentions of doing these, right? Just like it is my intention, uh, one of my intentions when I make comic book videos to get people turned on to comic books. My intention to uh, for doing the math videos is to get people to learn mathematics. My intentions of talking about personal finance and investing is to get people to think about investing in their personal finance and how to become anti-fragile one of my intentions for doing the patio is to get people to grow their own food right uh, but instead of yelling and screaming it um, my thing is uh, I, I'm not a politician so I don't say uh, do as I say not do as I do I say do as I do uh, try to grow your own food become anti-fragile it it's healthier uh, physically you're moving around you're lifting things you you build muscle you're getting fresh air you're away from technology you're uh, growing healthy good food and that in turn will make you more anti-fragile and that in turn is more of a personal finance investing decision so uh, thank you I'm glad I'm glad it's doing that 